Financial education involves acquiring the skills and knowledge to make wise decisions about money. People refer to it as financial literacy, and it's crucial for progressing in life. If you're aiming to enhance your personal and financial circumstances, you're likely striving for financial freedom and self-sufficiency. This means not depending on family, a job, or an undesirable company for income. Now, there's another concept to understand. Financial confidence. It's distinct from financial freedom. You see, freedom is about how much money you possess whereas confidence is about having faith in your ability to earn money. In this video, we're here to help you learn how to become financially literate. This means we want to guide you in gaining the skills and knowledge to handle money wisely. Being financially literate is like having a map that helps you navigate through the world of finances. But before that, Let's enhance your financial knowledge and join the ride on the Riches Roadmap channel. If you're ready to improve your budgeting skills, set financial goals, and work toward financial freedom, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment, ask a question, or offer a suggestion about our videos, because we genuinely enjoy interacting with you. And now, Let's get back to the topic. How to become financially literate. It's truly fascinating how so much valuable information is becoming increasingly available, often at low cost or even for free. And with just a few searches on Google, people can access everything they need. Surprisingly though, more than 90% of the population still lacks financial knowledge. Let me illustrate with a quick example. Imagine Cassandra receives her monthly paycheck of $1,850 after taxes. Instead of using this money for investing or saving, she spends it on unnecessary things like going to the mall with friends and other non-essential items. Are you also someone like Cassandra? Sadly, there are many financially uninformed individuals out there the good news is that anyone can change their ways and adopt a wealthy mindset by improving a few poor habits. Becoming wealthy is possible for almost anyone, except for those who simply lucked into it. Like receiving a big inheritance or winning the lottery. Interestingly though, about 70% of lottery winners end up going bankrupt after just a few years of being very wealthy. Why does this happen? Once again, it boils down to their financial knowledge. Even if you have a lot of money, you can still make bad choices and lose it all if you don't know how to handle it. So, if you're aiming for long-term wealth and not just a short-lived fortune, this video is right for you. First, let's break down the steps to financial literacy. Step 1. Invest solely in things you understand. Before you commit your money, make certain you grasp the situation. This also involves investing in your own growth by learning about business operations. Keep yourself current with information that relates to your achievements. Remember, investing blindly can lead to problems. Knowing where your money is going and how it works is like having a roadmap for success. When you invest in yourself through learning and staying informed, you equip yourself with the tools needed to make wise decisions. So, before you dive into any investment opportunity, take the time to educate yourself. Understand the risks, potential returns, and how it aligns with your overall financial goals. This way, you're not just investing money, but also investing in your own capability to make smart financial choices. Step 2. Understand the dual nature of debt. Debt isn't all the same. Some debt can hurt your finances, like student loans. Other debts, though, can help you make money, such as borrowing to start a business. 
Just be certain you can handle and pay back the debt. It's crucial to distinguish between these types of debt. Bad debt can lead to financial troubles, as it might cost you more in the long run and drag down your financial stability. Good debt, when used wisely, can be an investment in your future. But no matter the type of debt, always ensure that you have a plan to manage and repay it. Think of debt like a tool. It can either build or break. Consider the purpose of the debt, the potential benefits it brings, and how it fits into your overall financial strategy. By being cautious and responsible with your borrowing, you can harness the power of debt while minimizing its potential downsides. Step 3. Embrace a wealthy mindset. To think like you have wealth, imagine yourself as prosperous and act accordingly. This might even involve spending more than usual. You might have heard of living below your means, a tip often shared by money experts. It's good advice to avoid overspending and financial trouble. However, if you manage your money wisely, it's okay to invest in things that boost your confidence and happiness. For example, saving on small expenses won't suddenly make you super rich. Instead of just cutting back, consider learning new skills that can help you make more money and attain the lifestyle you want. This shift in thinking can change how you see opportunities and ways to increase your earnings. Step 4. Acquire Valuable Skills Gaining skills holds significant importance. Assets generate income, while liabilities incur expenses. Your mind is a substantial asset, and you can enhance its value. In the professional realm, certain skills are in high demand, sharing two key traits. They offer a considerable value. They result in substantial earnings. Instead of solely working for others, focus on developing skills that enable you to generate independent income by providing valuable solutions. Identify skills aligned with your strengths and commit to mastering them. This empowers you to accumulate assets and expand your financial standing. As you build proficiency, you open doors to new opportunities and the potential for higher earnings. Step 5. Diversify your income streams. Diversification is a key pillar of financial literacy. Instead of relying on a single source of income, aim to create multiple streams of revenue. This could involve exploring side hustles that align with your skills and passions, making smart investments in various assets, building passive income sources, networking to discover collaboration opportunities, and staying adaptable to changing markets. By diversifying your income streams, you not only reduce financial risk, but also enhance your potential for long-term financial growth and stability. Incorporating this step into your financial journey requires strategic planning, continuous evaluation, and the willingness to learn and adapt. While not every venture may succeed, the overall strategy of diversification will increase your resilience and provide you with a broader spectrum of opportunities to achieve your financial goals. There you have it, the five steps on how to become financially literate. By following these steps, you can establish a robust foundation for your financial well-being and make informed decisions that will positively impact your future. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Riches Roadmap, for more valuable insights and financial advice. Keep taking charge of your finances. And remember, the road to riches is just beginning. See you in the next video.